How's it guys? Uh, race deck, no fish uh, third day, Ponto. Fishing was unbelievable yesterday and guys got some really great fish. Uh, uh, from GTs, um, some uh, Dorado, Big Dorado came out, great Barracuda, lots of species, five, five species out. Um, so the fishing has been fantastic. Today is day three, we finish at two and it started off good. Uh, so far I'm on three species, got a um, skipjack. Bonnie and uh, two jogfish. So yeah, things are looking good and I think we're gonna get a few cute here as well. Showing's good and it's game on. Came all the way from the border in that thing. We were a bit suspect, but how did it handle? Yeah, no, we were a bit worried. That, I mean, we were pulling a double trailer as well. Not a 
not a problem at all. Eh? It's pulled very well. You know, it's, it's not a four-wheel drive as such. The system's a full motion, but um, when you look at the cab, you think <clears throat> lovely vehicle, but you don't think oh, it's going to handle off-road. And certainly proved us wrong. That's for sure. So now they're going to show they're going to show us how capable it really is. Um, I'm with Kenneth Hodgson here from uh, Midbay Motors. Kenneth's just going to tell us a little bit more about how the four motion works on the, yeah. on the T6 True Bus. Okay, this is a four motion, it's permanent four wheel drive. Uh, basically, it's a two litre bi turbo, the same as your Amarok that the, the bus comes in. So, this is a crew bus, and uh, yeah, it's an amazing vehicle. Eh? I've put a hitch in the front so I can get my jet in and out easy off the beach. I've never got stuck. Touch wood. <laughs> We're gonna see now, aren't we? We're see now. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, it's got all the space. I also inside the vehicle. I've, I've, I've padded the whole inside, so that's not normal. Yeah. So it gives better. It makes it cooler. It's like it a makes, little, yeah. It's a lifestyle van. So it's a lifestyle it's a, van, yeah. yeah. But it's an awesome vehicle to drive. Okay. So now you're gonna make, make sure you don't get yeah, stuck. Right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so if you want to go for smaller, smaller fish like snook and maybe your smaller kingies net in the shallows, uh, you can go down to smaller profile lures, your snook lures, your little rapala and uh, your king strike pros, kingfish strike pros. Surface, as I said, there's a lot of um, action on the surface at certain times of the day, so you want to have poppers and stick baits. Again, across the sizes as well, so you want a smaller profile, there's your hulker. Uh, running into your larger rooster type popper there depending again on you know what size fish they are and what you're targeting uh, there's a lot of sharks around there so you can see um, they get out of a lot of uh, a lot of the lures so you need to come quite well stocked uh, when you come to a comp 